Hello everyone, this is Marieke Blokland from blognow.nl and I'm here with a new video. I was working on these scones, scully, and I thought it was fun to make a quick video about it, how I create these. I was working with this new pen, a little brush pen from Pentel, and I really like the pen. I already gave my opinion about the pen here. It says perfect pen, I think it is. And this is a fun way to make quick skulls with a brush pen and um, you don't really have to think about it too, uh, for too long but this is how I create these fun little skulls. Um, some teeth and a jaw and that's it. That's how you can create fun scullies with a brush pen. And yeah, you can just figure out for yourself how to make them. You can also make them with round eyes and then make them more like this. Uh, you can also make the teeth quickly like that. You also have a fun skull. Maybe the skull is a bit cracked. So. Um, yeah, I think that's a fun way to, to draw really quick scullies that look a bit raw with this fun brush mark, marker, brush marker. Um, I also was creating these sugar skulls, uh, which take a little bit more time, but they're, they're just as easy to make. I colored them with uh, ultramarine blue. But of course they're also really little fun to make them yellow or orange or pink or, or no purple. Also really fun. But I thought that this blue with white was really cool. So um, I actually drew the scullies uh, the same way as with a brush marker. Really quick little sketch. And it doesn't have to be realistic at all. They're just fun skulls. Um, then you color that with uh, paint. In this case I have used um, acrylic gouache. But of course you can use acrylic paint or gouache. Uh, gouache. <laughs> gouache. You can use acrylic paint or gouache or watercolors. You don't have to use acrylic gouache for this. I'm using this uh, acrylic gouache by Liquitex. Um, I'm still not really sure if I like the acrylic gouache. I think for now I can say that I actually prefer regular gouache. I often use the gouache by Winsor & Newton. I really like that. But I bought these acrylic gouaches by Liquitex to test them uh, because um, I love to test new materials. It doesn't really matter that it's not realistic. We, I'm not aiming for realistic skulls here. I actually wanted to make uh, an entire course about these skulls. Um, because people have been asking for this for a long time. And I actually wanted to launch it this October. And it was going to be called Scully. I was actually even already creating it, but um, life got in the way. Um, I was building a new website called Blocknote Art School, as many of you heard by now. But it took me so much more time than I wanted. And um, 
In the meantime, I'm going to dry this little skull with a kitchen. But uh, it just took me so much more time and uh, I really got uh, a bit in need of time. There's just so a little hours in a day. I work six hours per day and um, the rest of the time I take care of my kids and my family. So um, yeah, I really wish there was more time in a day but there just isn't. And I wanted to launch Scully this month, but I also wanted to launch launch my course Jot this month, and then it would go uh, uh, go from October until I believe May 2020, or perhaps June. I'm I'm not sure, but um, yeah, um, I it just took me so much more time to create a website that. Um, I wasn't able to launch Jot and I wasn't able to finish the workshop Scully. Um, so I, I guess Scully have to wait another year. I will uh, try it again next year. Uh, but Jot, I'm going to launch Jot uh, soon now and it will start uh, on um, January the 2nd in 2020. So there will be another Jot but just a little bit later. Um, so yeah, this is how I create the skulls. Um, yeah, I just uh, made the eyeballs black and add a little shape of an, uh, well, it's not the shape of a nose, but it's the hole behind our nose. And I call it the area around the teeth black. So they, the teeth really pop out of the page. And then I'm going to add some folk art decorations. If you are interested in folk art, I have a course called Gouache, which is entirely folk art themed. Um, I'm going to launch it soon again on my website. Um, I'm launching all my older courses one by one again. Um, moving them from the old website to the new website so it will be available again um, in a in a while so pay uh, attention to my newsletter and social media then you'll know when gouache is available again should you be interested in learning more about folk art decorations really fun course So I'm adding these drip shapes around the eyeballs, not really perfect, but just um, indicating the little drip shapes and decorating the skull with white decorative elements such as leaves, dots, swirls. Um, fun, folk arty elements and that is how you create a quick fun sugar skull i hope that you liked this little tutorial um i wish you all a fabulous day and i hope to see you soon again in um this block note rtv or in my facebook group block note art group where i post lots of inspiration as well or, of course, in one of my courses at blocknoteartschool.com. See you! Bye!